Marco and Jeets X 1075. Uh, that's where we work. That's where we work. That's the that's the logo on the check. This is uh, Psychic Smackdown with Jilly Beans, Las Vegas' most credible psychic. We do this every single Wednesday at about 7. She predicts your future. Best future wins a prize. This morning, huge prize, OBC tickets, and meet and greet to all the bands tomorrow night. Let's welcome Jilly to the show. What's up, Jilly? Hey, good morning, guys. Hey. <laughs> now, Jilly, as Las Vegas' most credible, famous psychic, explain to people what you're doing now, where you are. Oh, well, I am doing what I do every Wednesday morning with you boys, and I'm fighting with a puppy. Actually, I am um, at home in my bed. Of course, I'm naked, and I am going to <laughs> give Las Vegas callers um, readings of a lifetime today. Now, before we get to the callers. <laughs> or the end of your life readings. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, uh, the bit, you know, as people call and you predict their futures, Best future, most interesting future wins. Before we do that, though, tomorrow is OBC, Jilly. And, and that's what these people are playing for. Right. I mean, not just tickets, but backstage passes for all the bands. Give a little look into tomorrow night. How do you see OBC do going? What happens? What do you see? Uh, I, I've been uh, wanting to tell you all about this one for a while. OBC, man, is going to be the most rocking concert of the year. Not only... It's just going to be a huge party tomorrow night. Nice. I mean, they just get, yeah, they just get better and better every year. What's going to happen? It's going to be the best party ever. People are just getting drunker than drunk. <laughs> having a party and is just having right. such an incredible time. And you too, too. Now, guys, the women love you. Mm. Okay? You, you got some fans out there, and these women love you. And I right. see at least five different women, if not more. Boys, you are going to be seeing boobies all night long. Oh, they're they going to flash us? Oh, you, like and they're just, oh, yeah, they're going to yeah. be flashing you all, all over the place. So, yeah, we're, so we're just, great. we won't be able, like, it's almost like we'll be being chased down by boobs all night? Yes, of course. They oh, see I you. You this. guys are cute. They're just going to go, hey, boom. And <laughs> hey, and, boom. And this, this, yeah, hey, boom. And this show is going to be so outrageously awesome tomorrow night. You guys may have to postpone this uh, for a year or two before you do another one. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. OBC is going on hiatus after this year? Why is that? Is it all the, is it all the booze? or? It's all the boobs. It's all the booze. It's all the partying. And just one hell of a good so, time. So, okay, hold on. Jeets and I come to town and we end OBC? <laughs> hold on. I, are you telling me that we won't have OBC next year because me and Marco will be flashed with so many boobs? That's what I'm talking about. Yep. Well, you know what? Well, sounds like a fair trade to me, to be yeah, honest. I, was say, I, I, know, I, mean, I don't see anything wrong I, with this. I, I, I'll I, take a year or two I'd off. I'd hate to have that brand disappear for <laughs> a year, but if the trade-off is a sea of boobs. Well, ladies, you've all if you're going tomorrow, now you know your future. You're going to flash me <laughs> She That's never right. said, in all fairness, that they were chicks' boobs. That's why I'm a little concerned. You know how she works with this thing. What if it's like 500 guys flashing us? That would be quite comical. You, mean, you it, never know. Oh, you mean God. if Chippendales crashes the I don't party? Know. Just random drunk guys is what I'm worried about. All right, so a lot of boobs, a lot of beer. This is the last OBC for a couple of years because we've got we've to regroup and get this thing under control. All right, that's, there you go. I love it. All I right, think it's great. I, I feel like if we're not doing it next year, she's gonna say that tomorrow's gonna be like a dumpster fire, just, just a, a disaster, just like Mad Max and the Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jilly, hang on. We're gonna get we're gonna get to some calls. Uh, we've got all of our lines jammed for you and for these OBC tickets and all the uh, backstage passes for tomorrow. Seven zero two seven nine one one zero seven five. You could try to sneak in when we get off the phone with somebody else. But next, Jilly will be reading Future's best future wins. You are not in control of this game. It's whatever your future dictates. We are Marco Jeets. It's X1075. It's Psychic Smackdown. Featuring Las Vegas' most credible psychic ever. Ever. Here's Jilly Bean. Jilly, welcome back to the show. Well, thank you, guys. All right. Las Vegas' most credible psychic. You call us. She predicts your future. This, by the way, is what she does for a living out at the Pioneer Saloon. She uh, speaks with ghosts. She does the haunted lockdowns, and she predicts futures. Right. 
That's right. <laughs> what, what else can I say? Jilly, you ready to get started here? I am so ready. Let's do it. Best future wins. Whoever has the best future out of these segments uh, will not only be at OBC. You're you'll meet be, all the bands. You'll be hanging with the bands. Uh, you know how this works sometimes. If it's a chick, sometimes you wind up banging the band. I mean, so many things. What's probably really going to happen is people are going to rush by all the bands to take pictures with us. Is how I force it, how I'm psychically seeing the future. And apparently disrobe, <laughs> yeah. according to Jill. Yeah. Oh, that's what that happens. Megan. That might do it. Okay. <laughs> Megan. Yes. Welcome, Megan. I'm Hi. so glad to be here. We're glad you're here. You're on with Jilly. Tell her a little bit about you. Well, uh, I'm an airman in the Air Force, and uh, I used to play Tinkerbell at Disney World, and uh, I'm married very young, and I have two cats. Two cats? I mean, uh, you gave that... birth to the cats, yeah. or what happened? No. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh. Uh, we adopted them here when we moved to Vegas last July. I actually got food poisoning um, on our cross-country road trip down here, and we uh, got to our apartment, and there were no lights and no furniture, and I was miserable. Yeah. So, All right. Well, I begged good. my husband. Okay. Yeah, I was going to be like, your husband has some super swimmers. He's producing a litter of cats. It's amazing. <laughs> All right, Jilly. Uh, <laughs> Megan's from the Air Force. She used to play Tinkerbell at Disneyland. And she's a crazy cat lady. What's uh, what's in her future? Crazy. I love it. Good morning, Megan. How you doing? I am excellent. Uh, well, good. I'm glad you feel that way now. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, well, no. no, Megan, honestly. You know what? I see you and you're happy at a party. Okay. And okay. you guys are having yeah, you guys are having a really good time and it's mainly beer. Yeah, you I'll know, drink a couple of shots here and there maybe. And actually, Megan, um you you need to use the restroom. So instead of taking your beer with you, you shut it down. Well, when you come out, there's a bunch of beers sitting around. And they're not really quite sure, but you just pick up a beer. Okay? You go to take a drink. And, girl, you're thinking, what is going on with this? This tastes really weird. But, yeah, this Uh-oh. is really good. Uh-oh. Okay, <laughs> Megan, I see you sort of getting a weird little addiction here. Well, when, what's... You your, uh, when you put your beer down, other people put theirs down. Well, somebody was using their beer as a uh, further toothpick. Oh, oh like, God, like that's so gross. chewing tobacco. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. yeah chewing so they used tobacco. the can as a spittoon and she, she <laughs> chugged the spit. Don't and tell me I actually swallowed it. <laughs> oh, girl, you not only swallowed it, you don't spit. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, oh, Megan. Megan, a round yeah. of applause, everybody, for Megan. My kind of girl. I love that, that, this girl. Hey, by the way, and that's the same reason you only have cats. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. <laughs> I like it that way. Uh, <laughs> of course you do. Well, Megan, you're, you're enjoying this stuff, and what you start do is you start drinking your beer, and this is the only way you're going to drink your beer. So the Wait a minute. Now. She <laughs> likes the taste of the she juice loves it. She loves <laughs> it. I mean, You're, you're disgusting, stuff, Megan. So, yeah, you know, and uh, what ends up happening, honey, is you're enjoying this way too much. You start having problems with your tummy, and they actually diagnose you with stomach cancer. <laughs> oh, oh man. No. Megan. <laughs> Boy, this started off so fun. Oh. Man, I thought I was going to die by, like, a bookcase following me or something. Not <laughs> stomach cancer. Well, hold on. D- uh. Does she, in fact, die of this, Jill? Oh, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't say you died. There is a chance. So, you know. Just, you know, kind of chill on that tooth, that crap in your beer, and you should be okay, but you're uh, not, because it's going to happen, and it's almost like an addiction, you know? It just, like, if you're smoking or drinking uh, or whatever. God, people, Megan, you're, you're just gonna... a, Megan, I got to be honest, you're a filthy human being. I mean, who the hell drinks <laughs> a chew spit beer? <laughs> Megan's going to, like, get a beer and then have to go up to, like, construction workers and go, hey, would you spit in my <laughs> freaking beer so I can enjoy it? Wait, is that Skull Wintergreen? <laughs> yeah, would you mind spitting in my beer? So any of you guys have Red Man Golden Blend? I'd love for you to spit in my cup. Oh, Megan, uh, listen. Con- oh, I'm so sorry. Con- oh, Why? No, I'm Why? sorry, This Megan. is happening to you. Why are you sorry? Oh. Jeez. Hold on, Megan, okay? Okay. Hold on. Jeez. There's what Megan a- downing cups of chew spit. She's just at a party, oh. and things changed. 
Though I will uh, say, I understand the struggle. You know what I mean? When you set the beer down and then you come back and you're like, God damn it, which one's mine? But you're drunk, so you just throw caution in the wind and go, that one's probably mine. <laughs> I can see the first part happening. Being addicted to chew spits a little little foul. Hey, you know, everybody's different out there, and she likes it. So what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to uh, Bryce. No, I'm a liar. Alexis. What's up, Alexis? Good morning, guys. Hi. Hi. Alexis, you are on with Jilly. Tell her a little bit about you. Okay. Um, I'm 30. I'm divorced. I work at a bank. I'm also in bed with my puppies, and that's about all I got going on. Now, when you say puppies, you mean the canine variety, right? <laughs> Correct. Not, not the massive like amounts it. we're going to be flashed tomorrow. At I OBC. thought maybe she just had large breasts. <laughs> All right, Jilly. Uh, well, Alexis is 30 years old, <laughs> divorced. She works at a bank, and she has a lot of puppies. <laughs> uh, well, good morning, Megan. It's or Alexis. Not, it's Alexis. 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 I am so sorry. The puppy <laughs> thing threw me off. You know, <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> <Jesus Man balls. laughs> the phlegm is strong with you it today. It really Jilly. is, Jilly. You know what? I had a really bad. My allergies are so bad, and I had a horrible sneeze. Hey, allergies. Jilly, before you start the reading, I want to remind all of our listeners that Jilly is naked right now. I just want to put that in your mind as she talks. And smoking Newports. So. No. <laughs> Man <thoughts. laughs> I'm sorry. She's eating them. <laughs> anyway, go ahead, Jilly. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Alexis. There we go. Alexis. Well, this is really good news. Apparently you have, um, yeah, check it out. Apparently you have a car that you've been wanting for a while. Mm-hmm. You know, kind of a bucket list thing. And in about a year, you're going to find this wonderful car of yours. Okay. And it's going to be used, but that's okay. Because it's exactly what you've been looking for. And uh, I'd say you and your puppies are all cruising in it. Anyways, you know, you're just cruising along, having a good time, enjoying your beautiful new car. And you get pulled over. Okay? And, and you're thinking, what? Yeah, exactly. You get pulled over. <laughs> yeah, you were going a little fast. That's okay. So the officer comes over and he asks for, you know, your license, registration, all that stuff. And you're sitting there talking to him for some reason he asks you <laughs> to pop the trunk <laughs> to pop the trunk to pop the trunk okay right. he ran the plates whatnot something i guess comes up a little suspicious so he's wants to check out the car he asks you a few questions how long you had it you tell him not long you know and you tell him your little story you pop the trunk and lo and behold girl Whenever you buy a used car, you need to check out the car because apparently you never opened up that trunk. Uh Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh You ready? The trunk. It is literally bloodstained all over. Bloodstained? Bloodstained. And hair. See, I was going to guess cocaine when she started talking. (laughs) Uh, yeah, it probably would have been better cocaine than the blood and the hair. <laughs> Needless to say, girl, uh, you start getting questioned about it, and you're telling them exactly what happened. You know, you just bought this car. It was your dream car. You had no idea. Well, do you really think they're going to believe that? I don't think so. <sighs> what ends up happening, honey, they take you to court. And you're going to be gone for huh, about eight years for concealing evidence and covering up. Um, oh, but she God. didn't do any. Wait, Jilly, own. Jilly, Jilly. She didn't. She didn't do it, right? She wasn't a part of the blood in well, the hair. Wait a minute. Did it she do matter. something? Well, that's what I'm well, trying I, to figure out. Well, I don't know. Did you? Uh, you know, the trunk is full of blood, full of hair. <laughs> you never know. But if you did do something, you're only going to get about eight years, honey. So oh, that's, that's not all eight bad. years. Yeah. Alexis. Hey, it's, it's better than you know. <laughs> The death penalty, I don't know. Oh, I like, I like it. Jilly's glass half full. At least you're not going to be hung. <laughs> you're only going to do eight years. Uh, Alexis, I do got to ask a question now that we have been presented with your future. If you could kill, murder one person, if you had to pick one person, who would it be? Hmm, uh, probably my ex. Just for kicks. Your ex. So see, oh, I just mean, for I, kicks. She is a vile bitch. So I, just I, for I, kicks. I think she does do it. It's her ex. 
Alexis, have you considered killing him? Yes! Um, See how easy no, that I just want to yeah. hear it from her. We're going to need this for our Dateline episode we'll be appearing on. Let her, <laughs> let her answer the goddamn question. Have you thought about killing him, Alexis? Of course it runs through your brain, yeah. Okay, no. okay here's an art question. How would you kill him? <laughs> hmm. I can't say, because... You know, I have to try and conceal some evidence. Right. And we already know after you kill him, he goes in the trunk. Right. So, yeah. yeah. We yeah. know how it ends. Less than eight years if we can. All right. What, oh. did, what did he do? Did he cheat on you? It sounds like he did. Oh, no. He just he walked out on me, though. He walked out on you? Yeah, no good reason, really. No, he was cheating, he was cheating on you, honey. You need <laughs> to know. Yeah. Jilly, you back me up. You're the psychic. Was he cheating, Jilly? You know what? I, I would say probably 105%. Yes. Okay. Ah, <laughs> just 105%. I mean, only 105 Only 105 Next time you think about getting rid of them, all I'm going to say is think of the pig farm. That way you don't have no evidence. And no oh, jeez. Yeah. Jilly, okay. have you done this before? <laughs> <laughs> she knows too much. Uh, Jilly spends hundreds of dollars on tarps every year to wrap up you know, dead bodies. I feel like I'm sort of becoming a psychic by having Jilly on every week. <laughs> no, seriously, uh, because I just got this vibe that Alexis was also cheating on her ex. And that's crazy because I'm starting to get addicted to menthol cigarettes. Isn't that weird? <laughs> it's like Jilly's menthol the weird. puppet master. We're all oh, falling into God. her trap. All right, Alexis. Uh, hang on, all right. Hang on, you. You can. You you're gonna kill somebody. somebody uh, Pick you're, farm. You're going to jail. Hold on. I'll go get the tarp. <laughs> go go get the tarp. <laughs> I'm telling you this. Uh, that bitch is crazy. Jilly. I'm telling you that bitch is crazy. And I'm becoming a psychic. <laughs> you know what? Not. When I say who who would you murder, and you immediately have an answer, oh. that means you're gonna murder somebody. Yeah. And then you ask how, and she's like, Oh, I can't say that. <laughs> right. From oh. my experience, though, the crazy ones are the best in bed. So she's probably ridiculous in bed. <laughs> Good luck with that. You're going to wind up in the back of her new Porsche. Yeah, that's probably where they started having sex in the back of her trunk. <laughs> all right. Hold on, Jilly. Cut his head Jilly's off. laughing. She's just predicting murders all over the place. <laughs> she loves it. She loves it. Hold on, Jilly. Yeah. We'll do another segment here coming up. Uh, but who knows? Alexis, because of that future, it is an interesting one, may wind up tomorrow night, OBC and backstage, hanging out, meet and greet with all the bands. More of your calls and your shot to win on the way. OBC. Marco and Cheats Psychic Smackdown. Featuring Las Vegas' most credible psychic ever. Here's Jilly Bean. Jilly. Yes. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Why do we have a dial tone? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Jeez, Jilly, your ghost friends are screwing with us this morning. Yeah, no kidding. It's on my end, too. All right, best future wins. OBC tickets for tomorrow night plus Backstage, you're hanging out with all the bands. Jilly predicts your future. Whoever has the most interesting future wins. You can't control any of this. Nope. Let's get to uh, Jordan. Uh, Jordan, welcome to the show. How are you, Jordan? I'm good. How are you? Doing good, buddy. Tell Jilly about yourself. Uh, let's see. I'm 18. I, uh, I'm in the process of joining the Air Force right now. It's been a struggle to get in. Been trying for a year. Uh, I work at the Wynn Hotel right now. All right, 18 years old, works at the Air Force, uh, and works at the Wynn Hotel. What is in Jordan's future there, Jilly? Oh, well, good morning, Jordan. Good morning. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, you're young, and that's great, because I see you uh, wanting to, oh, gosh, how can I put it, experiment, you know, with a lot of different kind of kinky kind of sex. No. And, wow. I, yeah, this is a good thing. Well, Perfect. kind of. Huh. All right, so if you don't have a girlfriend, you're going to find a woman that you just find so attractive and you just you want to do her bad. Okay? Get it, Jordan. Get right. it. There you go. So what you decide to do, you don't – actually, she's an older woman. And um, you don't want to disappoint her. So you get yourself some Viagra. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. And, you, and yeah, and you pop this little blue pill. Well, it works like a charm. Oh my God, you are just going at it for hours. I mean, <laughs> nice. Hours. Okay, you have got an erection that just ain't going away, and you're just oh man, you are making her so happy, and you're very happy with yourself, mind you. Well, after you know four hours or so of this, she's pretty worn out. Uh, Jordan. <laughs> 
Is there Apparently, anything left of her? <laughs> uh, yeah. Not with this 18-year-old boy with Viagra. Hell no. So right. you, you just you work her. Um, you're done, or you think you're done. And uh, while well, you don't even have to look down, you still have this erection from hell after hours. And <laughs> from hours hell. Of, from <laughs> hell. Well, yeah, I mean, it, yeah, okay. So, you know, you don't really have a choice, so you have to go to the doctor. And you're looking at the doctor and you're going, man, you know, this is not going away. What am I supposed to do? Jordan? Yes. <laughs> yes. Apparently, yes. <laughs> you have had some type of a real strange reaction to this Viagra. Huh. And the bottom line is <laughs> you're going to be walking around with an erection for the rest of your life. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Tripod. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Jordan's always pointing north. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a compass for the rest of his life. <laughs> a little rigor mortis of the junk down yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> Iffy. So you better watch those push-ups. You may hurt yourself. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think this. the ground better watch those push-ups. <laughs> Jeez. All right, Jordan. Well, listen. I think congratulations is in order, right? Wow. Thank you. So. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not sure. You go to the doctor and he says you got a permanent erection. I don't know if you if it I mean, hurts or. I'll if, take like, congratulations for that. Yeah, but I mean, I don't. How long can you take it? I mean, years. I, that's what I'm and saying. Years. Maybe, that's maybe true. after a while, like you, you know, when you get calluses on your hands. Right. Probably a horrible analogy given this topic. Terrible one. <laughs> but Terrible. Yeah. like your body would adapt to it, so maybe the pain <laughs> subsides or something. No, it seems like know. you'd be a lightheaded the rest of your life too. All that blood just staying down there. That's true. That's true. Yeah. All right, Jordan. Well, good luck. At least you're young. You could probably handle this. Oh yeah. I don't know if the women oh. he's uh, dating can though. No, I mean he's going to scare them. You know, he's going to he's absolutely scare them. Wow. All right, Jilly. We've had a lot of interesting yeah. uh, futures here today. Uh, yeah, strange day, but fine. <laughs> <laughs> let's Menthols. get let's get to Rick for OBC and backstage passes. What's up, Rick? What's going on? Good morning, guys. Hello. Morning. You, hey, uh, Rick. Do you have a mustache? No, I don't. Ah, you might be the only Rick on planet Earth without a mustache. They're a little creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, tell uh, Jilly a little bit about you. So uh, I drive for the big brown truck company for 22 years. I'm married to a beautiful wife with her three children. I married her with uh, her three children already. Um, I have a small farm. I have a bunch of goats and chickens and uh, dogs and a cat and a bunch of other little stuff my granddaughter likes to keep in her room all right, all right. rick uh it works for the big brown was it big brown trucking is that what you said it's uh ups oh, all right he works for ups for 22 years uh he's uh in a uh, uh married with three children um he has goats and that's it <laughs> and, and chickens. what and chicken yeah and, and his goats and chickens He's got, you got a farm. Any pigs on that farm? <laughs> E-I-E-I-O, right? There you go. Jilly, what do you see? What do you see? Well, good morning, Rick. Um, good morning. Yeah, I, I, I'm seeing some interesting things. Um, you have a best friend that you've known for a long time, apparently. And uh, you two are going to kind of get together, hang out. And I... <laughs> All of a sudden, this is kind of weird. I'm not really quite sure how to say this. But <laughs> you and your friend, out of the blue, kind of look at each other, and you're feeling <laughs> some kind of a oh. sexual chemistry between the two of you. Oh, and, right. and it's, yeah, it's kind Happily of Happily married nice. man, by the way. Yeah, I know. But, you know, people do have urges. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so, Rick, um, you and your friend decide – you're going to kind of act on this and explore a bit. And there's nothing really wrong with that, okay? Well, well, except well, the fact that he's a happily married man. Yeah, that's, well, yeah. that's the part that might be wrong about it because that would never happen. <laughs> right, Rick, 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 listen. Rick, you got, i got to ask you to contain yourself while Jilly's doing the reading, all right? I'm trying, man, but that uh, one hurt. Well, <laughs> it's not over yet. This thing could take another turn. Just yeah, hang on, buddy. Calm down, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jilly, so... 
Is this friend? I mean, we didn't ask. I'm assuming the the friend is another man, right? Is that what you're yes, saying? Yes, it is. Okay. It's another man. Oh, I was oh. hoping it was the go. <laughs> 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 All right, so Yeehaw. him and the man. Isn't that a donkey? Who cares? I don't get it. I don't know. So, <laughs> so what happens next? Well, they explore, and they really kind of enjoy this. Oh. And you guys, Rick, you decide it is time for a sexual revolution. <laughs> okay? And the, the little Starting encounter. a revolution? Oh, no. Yes. This little encounter has just opened up your eyes to, wow. <laughs> okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. So apparently you and your friends say, screw this family thing and the farm stuff. You and your friend actually pick up and move to the Middle East. Whoa! What? This is interesting. <laughs> the Middle doesn't, East doesn't the Middle East frown on these kind of relationships? I think they do. I don't think they're too fond of homosexuals I don't the- either. But but what else well, happens? Yeah. Well, when these two end up there, boy, or they're, they're like celebrities, man. People are loving you guys. <laughs> this is a whole new concept. Go with your heart. Go how you feel. And so, what you guys actually do is you start the sexual revolution camp for Americans mm. and Americans can frustrated Americans, you know, they just don't know what they want. So they can come <laughs> to your sexual revolution camp and just no holds barred. And then they just have a blast and y'all are just doing your own thing. And the best part about the starting is you're going to get rich. Whoa. Whoa. I like this. Well, now you're talking, Joanne. Now tell it like it is. <laughs> so, so let me get this straight. Rick is going to start an American revolution, sexual, sexual revolution, revolution in sexual the Middle East. Yeah. Yes. He's going to be the Che Guevara of gay sex. Che Guevara was responsible for killing many people, though. Well, you're focusing on the negatives. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem here. Rick, focus on the fact you're going to be rich from this. Well, people are going to love you in more than one way. And Jilly, you said that him and this man are going to be very, very happy together. Uh, of course, you guys have known each other a long time, and <laughs> wow, you finally did it. And you're hey, happy Rick. with your choice. Wow. Hey, Rick, it looks like well, it's about uh, time to uh, start growing that mustache. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> yeah, that would work. <laughs> no, Rick, you don't understand. That is what your interest is going to be. Right. It's that's, inevitable. This isn't the reading of you today. Right. It's, it's the reading it's of your future. future. Yeah, but what, you, what Jillian failed to mention was the sexual revolution happens with my wife on a weekly basis. Well, today it does. Right. <laughs> it's going to happen with this man on a daily basis in the future. You're right. going to be so uh, happy. I don't think so. Yeah. Well, next time your buddy comes over, you may be thinking a lot different. <laughs> you know, Rick, the next time you're with your buddy, you're going to look at him and go, I think he's thinking what I'm thinking. You know what the best, the, phone call the, best, the best part about he's this going reading? Crazy. No, so the best bad. part about this reading is he will never be able to look at his buddy the same again. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but again. Which, <laughs> never look at his buddy. <laughs> again, uh, again, yes, it's <laughs> already, already coming started. true. Oh, oh. Right. Rick, <laughs> hold on a second. Congratulations, Rick. Yes, congratulations. Sexual revolution. Yeah, in the Middle East for America. <laughs> Jilly, you just destroyed football Sunday for this guy. <laughs> 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 My buddy's never coming over again. All right, uh, <clears throat> let's take a break. All right, yeah, let's I need t- one. Yeah, I need one too. A lot of things <laughs> going on here this morning. Uh, hang on, Jilly, okay? All righty. We got to get a winner, but let's take a quick break. Backstage passes and tickets tomorrow night for OBC. Uh, and like Cheats mentioned, this will be the, the last time you get to win these. At least from us. From us. That's exactly uh-huh. right. It's Marco and Cheats X 107.5. Marco and Cheats Psychic Smackdown. Featuring Las Vegas' most credible psychic ever. ever. Here's Jilly Bean. Yo, Jilly, welcome back to the show. <laughs> Uh, thank you. All right, I boys and girls, this is a Psychic Smackdown bonus segment. Yeah, we've had so many calls and obviously a pair of tickets to OBCs on the line, meet and greet with all the bands. Uh, we want to give the last couple people a shot some at these, this. Some of these people have been holding on for 53 minutes, and I felt terrible because of the prize. At least got to get them on to get their future read. Right. Uh, let's welcome to the show 
Aaron. What's up, Aaron? What's up, guys? What up, dude? What up? All right, Aaron, let's hear a little bit about it yourself to, to tell to Jilly. Uh, I'm originally from California. Just moved here two years ago. Uh, I got two kids. Uh, I work at Mercedes. <laughs> and I literally talk to you guys almost every day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jilly. Cali uh, born, uh, Vegas now for two years. Got a couple uh, uh, mini errands. And he works at Mercedes. What What do you see in his future there? Uh, hey, Aaron. Hey. 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 Oh, God. Here we oh, go. God. Remember, That's Aaron, my... she's naked. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> Playing with her puppies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Aaron, um, wow. You know, I'm almost at a blank here. The farthest I can see in your future is till like, 5 o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and, and that's it, and I hate to do this, but good luck and have a good day. Wait, wait a minute. Julie, Aaron well, was on a hold for like an hour. Wow. So, so wait a minute. What happens between now and 5 p.m., Jilly? I, you know what? I say enjoy. I, I, I really don't know. After 5 o'clock, I see absolutely nothing. So is that, wow. is that normal or is that bad or what? Uh, that is so not normal. So, like I said, um, good luck. I don't know what to say. It stops. Chili said, <laughs> <Chili day>. said <laughs> it stops. My whole life is stops. <laughs> oh. So, wait a minute. Like, are you saying maybe he's dead or you just don't know? What the hell happens at 5 p.m.? I don't know, but you ought to call us tomorrow if you're still around and let us know what happens at five. <laughs> Every day will be a bonus day. <laughs> the farther the ghost can see into your future, Aaron, is till 5 p.m. today. <laughs> well, man, I thought I waited 53 minutes for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Oh, that, is, God. that is a shame. Jilly did him dirty, man. <laughs> yeah, she did me dirty. <laughs> uh, Aaron, I'd say have a good day, but I think it's more like have a good rest of your day. Yeah, keep your eye. You know, look everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no All right, buddy. We'll see you, man. <laughs> 53 minutes, and I can't see past 5 p.m. today. <laughs> we wasted 50 minutes of his last day uh, on hold. What happens at 5? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's probably not good, though. But anyways, you. good luck. Adios, Aaron. <laughs> well, I don't, obviously, no point in giving him the tickets because he's not going to be around. Yeah, we can't even be assured he'll make it tomorrow. Kendra. Hey, how's it going? Hey. I just want to say sorry, Aaron. Uh. Well, he's, yeah, that's a bummer. <laughs> he's <isn't> gone. <laughs> hey, better it better's the odds for you, Kendra. Let's be right. honest, right? Kendra, let's hear All a little right. bit about yourself. All right. Uh, born and raised Vegas. Uh, I have a six-year-old, a one-year-old. I'm 23. I'm an anesthesia technician. Um, I live with my boyfriend, uh, and we have the one-year-old together. Um, yeah. All right. So uh, she born and raised here in Las Vegas, uh, a six-year-old, one-year-old. She's 23, uh, anesthesia tech, and uh, her and her boyfriend have one kid. And then there's some random uh, baby daddy. Well, I was going to say, Ken Kendra's there. not afraid to throw it down. I mean, uh, 23 and you have a six-year-old. Wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. If, if my math is correct, you had that yeah. child when you were four years old. Uh, <laughs> pretty close. Pretty <laughs> pretty 17, close. but, you know. Sure. <laughs> All right, Jilly, <laughs> Jilly Kendra's on. What do you think? Good morning, Kendra. Good morning. <laughs> well, so nice. Not, <laughs> yeah. so nice. Good morning. Not now, let me morning. ruin your no, life. Yeah, let's hear it. What, what do you got for me? <laughs> well, I see you and your cute little family. You guys are strolling down. Mom, not maybe the strip, Fremont Street, you know, just having a good old time. <laughs> All right. And, uh,. <laughs> Well, I don't know how to put this, but there is some kind of an unmanned drone flying around, and the damn thing malfunctions, and girl, it comes down and hits you so hard in the head. A what? A it drone? Unmanned drone. A drone. <laughs> oh, no. Because, and it knocks your butt out. But see, <laughs> fortunately for you, you already work at a hospital, so they get you in there real quick. Okay? Now... 
the good news is, well, I guess it's all good news. You no. do survive. Oh, okay, that's so great. Well, I was going to say the part where the drone great. falls out of the sky and smashes her in the head and, is and probably not good I, news. At least I didn't die. All right. Well, oh, no, hold no, on, no, no, Kendra. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Remember, Kendra, oh. you sit back and listen to your yeah. future. No, no <laughs> you, comments you, from the gallery. You were just struck. <laughs> okay. You all were right. just struck by an unmanned drone. Yeah. Just settle down. Let's see what happens. Kendra, I'm going to say this in the nicest way possible. Just sit in the corner and <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Miss Kendra. <laughs> All right, so she gets blasted in the head with a drone, and then you Jesus. said there's good news, apparently. Well, yeah, there's good news because you actually survive it, okay? So there's <laughs> no – I mean, you still are functioning in every which way, shape, and form, except Uh-oh. wherever this hits you in the head, it really screwed things up, okay? And, oh, boy – for the rest of your life, girl, you are going to be walking sideways. You cannot walk straight forward anymore. Okay? You mean like a crab? Like a crab. Uh, yeah, walk exactly. sideways. You're just going to be shooting off sideways. Other than that, you function just fine. Oh, other than that. So, you, so Kendra, do you taste delicious with garlic butter? Or what? Oh, my God. So, well, Kendra's fine, but she walks sideways. <laughs> you must have some buff ass hips. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. She must Shoulder be first into everything. She's an awesome line dancer. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you see Kendra do the watermelon crawl? That bitch is awesome. <laughs> Oh, oh man! God damn! All right, Kendra, you crab walking <laughs> all over Fremont. <laughs> <laughs> Kendra, hey, congratulations! All right, all right. hold on, okay. <laughs> All right. May want to start walking sideways today just to <laughs> practice up. You know, you got one of those tuckometers that count all your paces. <laughs> Marco's walking sideways all around the studio. Oh, God. Excuse me, excuse me. You know what's going to be weird is going through those TSA lines at the airport <laughs> when you go up sideways and they'll be like, can you turn around? He took no. the crab walk for a test drive. How did it feel? <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> Very stiff. Yeah. All right, Jilly. Um, All right, we got to yeah. pick a winner. But before we do, Jilly, uh, why don't you go ahead and pimp and plug? And you know, you're you're world famous now. You have yeah. a million things. This to is where promote. you get rich. Go ahead. What what's going on? Where can people uh, connect with you and things? Uh, they can always find me at the world famous Pioneer Saloon. Mm-hmm. And on Wednesday, such as today, you guys ought to come up there, go see the Big Willies, which is Tom, Chris, Mike, and Chad. Shout out to y'all. You guys are great. Come out and have um, a flight of whiskey for 10 bucks. You get three shots of whiskey, and then you can have a free one with me. And don't forget about my haunted lockdowns, of course. Go to our site, hauntedlockdown.com. Go ahead and make a reservation, yeah. and don't forget. Promo code Jelly Bean and you get a twenty dollars. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus she's got promo a promo code. code. Also, hey, if you guys remember, uh, Randy, uh, Randy, Randy Couture. Couture said that he's going to be out there this weekend. He gave you guys yes. a big shout out. It's not this weekend. I think it's next weekend. Next weekend, is I that believe correct? it's the twenty first. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Randy is a great guy, and we're going to have a lot of fun. You guys ought to come out and join us. Yeah, Randy's got his uh, benefit concert this weekend, but next weekend he's going to be out there. But uh, yeah, he gave the Pioneers some big shout out. Randy right. Couture. He goes, have you ever heard heard of it we're, we're like, like oh, oh yeah. every wednesday oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> jilly yeah. uh thank you for being here and uh, uh appreciate for having me we appreciate all the futures and i hope they do too <laughs> you, guys <have> a great, <laughs> you guys have a great day and i'll talk to you all next week all right Sounds next good. week it is everyone will be here except aaron who's dying at five yeah. today right all right thank exactly. you exactly all, uh-huh. right. all right p aaron okay i got it down <laughs> to actually Kendra, right there at the end, I thought was pretty great with the drone <laughs> crab walking thing. And then uh, Megan, who g- became addicted to drinking chew spit. If you missed that, that was in uh, <laughs> an earlier segment where she mistakenly grabbed a spittoon and drank it and then loved it and Here, wouldn't stop drinking. Here's the thing. Because she gets addicted to the chew spit and the beer, she can't have a beer without somebody you know, spitting chew into sure. it. Sure. Uh, but then she kind of she has very bad medical uh, situation. Yeah, she eventually dies of stomach cancer. cancer. Yeah, because she's going to pass away from this weird addiction. We should probably let her enjoy the rest of her life, which okay. which isn't very long. Uh, Megan, 
Yes. Welcome back to the show. Glad to be back. Good. Listen, uh, you are the winner. Yes. And I can predict your future for tomorrow anyways. You'll yeah. be at OBC rocking out and meeting all the bands. Well, I guess I better buy some tobacco then, huh? Yeah. yeah. Get ready. Well, no, no, no. I'll buy the tobacco. I'll start chewing. You just show up with your beer, beer and I'll, I'll spit in the cup. Luga. <laughs> We'll make it enjoy. All right, that sounds fun. All right, enjoy all the time. <laughs> Does it really? She's, she's, oh, she's down. God, you're disgusting. She's you're already like addicted. Filthy human being. Megan, enjoy uh, your uh, future days on Earth, okay? All right, thanks. Take care of yourself. All right, there's Megan. Bizarre future. And like we said, the rules of the game, most interesting future wins. Yeah. We had a lot of them. Great prize, though. Backstage with all the yeah, bands. Yeah, we'll, we'll see Jeez. Megan tomorrow. Hopefully we'll see uh, as many as you can make it out as possible. A few select tickets remain for OBC tomorrow. Yeah. Again, details at x1075lasvegas.com. And please, by all means, keep tweeting us and asking us for free tickets. That please. was our last pair. Yeah, that was it. I don't have so, any more. Leave you know, me alone. When you say, how can I get tickets, pull out your goddamn credit card and buy them. OBC is tomorrow night. Marco and Jeets, it's X 1075.